Your daily 180, 180 seconds of pure Bible study. Welcome to your daily 180 Bible study. Thank you so much for being with us today. This week we're talking about the idea God said. God has spoken on various subjects because you see, God is a God of words. This is so important for us to understand. We're going to talk some more about this in future lessons. He is a God who communicates in clear, objective language. And we see this very vividly in Genesis chapter 1. There is a phrase repeated over and over and over again in Genesis chapter 1. God said. Genesis 1 verse 3, Genesis 1 verse 6, verse 9, verse 11, verse 14, verse 24, uh, verse 26, over and over. God said. And the idea is that when God speaks, there is a response. Now that's true with nature. That's true with the material universe. And it needs to be true with us as well. And it is through creation that we understand something about God. But there are many people who want to discount that God has the ability to speak things into existence out of nothingness. Uh, you might be familiar with uh, Bill Nye, the science guy. He, uh, he made these comments, and this was in the Huffington Post, uh, quoting him. He says, the biggest danger creationism plays, according to Bill Nye, the science guy, is that it is raising a generation of children who can't think and who will not be able to participate in the future in the same way as those who are taught evolution. He goes on, scientific liter literacy is crucial for society to function effectively, which means that we can't afford to be messing around with the way that it's taught in the classroom or wasting our time when the with fruitless public debates. Isn't that incredibly sad? We can't mess around with fruitless public debates. They don't want to consider the evidence because they have already made up their mind. Creationism is wrong. The general theory of evolution is true. But listen to this simple argument from Hebrews chapter 3 and verse 14, an argument which cannot be refuted. Hebrews 3 and verse 4 says, for every house is built by someone, but he who built all things is God. When you drive down the road and you see a building or you see a house, you don't look at it and say, I wonder if that's the result of an explosion. I wonder if it evolved into a house. No, you know someone built it. And when you look at the marvelous design of this world and this universe, you realize it didn't just happen. Genesis 1 explains that it happened because God said. Join us again tomorrow.